Hi, my name is Christine and uh, I'm going to do a video today. Um, so I'm a student and a number of friends have been asking me uh, the process and all that. And you know, the first time you explain to someone is fine. And then somebody else asks the same question. Okay, third person. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get to the fourth, fifth person, it's like a lot of work because it's a process and uh, you kind of get tired. So what I did, I decided I'm going to do a video, then it's going to be easier. At least if someone has a, a, an interest in studying in Germany, they can follow the link and uh, read. If you follow everything in the 10 steps, my friend, unless you're gonna shit up a hurley, you're supposed to get your admission uh, letter by the end of it all. So um, what you're going to do is, uh, first of all, I'll talk about what you need before you start applying. So you need to prepare yourself first, also mentally, because it takes time, it takes finances. Uh, yeah, And um, you also need to uh, plan yourself ahead. See you at the school starts in semis in uh, summer and you're there two weeks before rushing here and there uh, you're going to miss the deadline please plan ahead give yourself time you need finances you need to plan yourself you need to look for documents you need to certify things and all that so first of all if you do not have a passport see at your take a visa kwa birth certificate you're joking so get a passport Passport takes, uh, right now, I think it should be something pretty straightforward. Get a passport. After you have a passport, then you need to get your finances ready. Now, studying in Germany is free of charge, but So what will happen is you need to uh, finances for your day-to-day -day living. We also have what is called the semester fee. So depending on which uh, state you are in, you need a fee of between 100 euros to 300 euros. For me, I pay 300 euros. Uh, 100 euros ni kama uh, 11K Kenyan shillings and 300 euros, that's like 30K Kenyan shillings. But the good thing is, for me with the semester ticket, nezengia basi yoyote, nezengia train yoyote, regional, Nazenda the whole state without paying a single shilling except for the ICE. Ile nyo fai kuingia ni ICE ufai kuingia bure. Now, when it comes to uh, finances, ukienda tu embassy wezi enda tu useme mm, nitalipa. No, you need to show. So there are three ways that you can do that. The first one, you can have a blocked account. If you do not have anyone in Germany who can uh, stand for you, you need a blocked account. You need around 10,000 euros per year. 10,000 euros times 100, that's like uh, 1 million Kenyan shillings. There's a process for that. Uh, you need to block an account. It's still your, your money. See at any person, you're not paying anything. It's your money, only that uh, in a core released every month. Uh, I think around 800 euros. I'm not sure. I'll do a video about that maybe later on. But um, you need a blocked account. 10,000 per year and uh, you'll renew every year or something like that and if you're not using a blocked account then you have someone who is in Germany maybe a relative or a close friend or a parent then you can use a sponsorship letter so yes ponyo so ponza so what your sponsor does they go to uh, the local authorities of where they live in and uh They'll be required to take some documents to show that they can cater for you and all that. They'll get a letter. They'll send you a letter. It's some colored letter, some beautiful letter over there. They'll send you the letter. Now, you'll take that to the embassy. That is one of the requirements that you need for the embassy and also for your visa renewal. Then, kama hauna sponyo, na hauna blocked account, you can get a scholarship. Scholarships... Now, as I say, uh, they are there, but seemingly considering tuition is free, but Ziko, 
go check dad website there are many people who are here on scholarships in that case you don't need to pay anything i don't know how uh, they happen i'll have to i'll check later and then you don't have to pay anything so what you do is once you get the scholarship that's it you don't need your finances are sorted but make sure you know about your finances before you even start the application process there's no need for you to incur costs uki okay, apply for v2 and then barua imekuja na nini imekuja you are there stranded preparation is key preparation is key but the main thing is there is no tuition fee in germany what we pay is known as semester fee na hiyo mostly ina cover uh, for your bus ticket so for me the whole semester i don't pay a single shilling bus in ezamka sa 12 ni sema leo naenda achen naingia train and you go do your things you are sorted now this uh, video is specifically for people who want to learn master's course in english so i'm doing my master's course in english kijerumani ish spreche etwas ein bisschen deutsch aber deutsch ist etwas schwer ich kann nicht mein masters auf deutsch machen na maanisha kulienda kukakuja huku tunasoma na english german ni ngumu na kama uko kama uko na german mzuri and all that then definitely you can get uh, whatever course you want but i'm specifically talking about people who want to do english taught masters now first of all after you uh, you have your passport and then you've secured your finances of course you need your documents you are master student that means you did your uh, bachelor's you need a copy of your bachelor certificate uh, most uh many universities will require english proficiency yes umefanya bachelor in english and all that but there are people who i don't know maybe they can't speak good english or whatever some countries some foreign countries so to make it uniform most universities require international students to have english proficiency in uh english so for me i did uh toefl I did it in Nairobi. Uh, this building that is uh, opposite uh, Tuskis Bomb Blast. You do your TOEFL there. There are some people who do IELTS. I think people who go who are going to Australia and Canada and things like that, but for me TOEFL was enough and that's what I did. When it comes to German for your studies, you don't need any German uh, proficiency. Lakini ni kuulize utaingia kwa kwa apoteke uanze kuongea kijaluo eh, konyagi eh, baskopan and eh, no you're not going to, to to speak whatever language you think you're coming to germany soma kijerumani ukai ukijua some things uh, common sense kidogo but that is not required for your application but to make your work easier and to make your life easier soma kijerumani so you need your bachelor certificate you need your uh, english language proficiency if the university requires and then you have transcripts poleni mepiti nimetoa mashishio silikuwa sina nisumbua kitoka so the last part uh, we talked about you need your bachelor certificate you need your uh, english proficiency certificate if the uni requires and definitely you'll need your transcripts your transcript shows the modules that you've learned so for me i did uh, business admin finance and now i'm doing masters in economics so the universities need to know whatever modules you've done now for your transcripts you don't just print them and send most of them require a certified copy same for your uh, bachelor certificate so what you do you do not certify the original of course so you make a copy and then uh for me i went to uh, mini uh, ministry of education they have an office where they certify all the copies and since i didn't want to go for every university i was applying i made like five copies and then they were all certified at once so you just take them with an envelope go certify them and then now that is what you're going to send to the university now there are some universities that require uh, a curriculum vitae others require a motivation letter others require 
a reference letter so for the reference letter if your university requires it then you may need to get it from uh, your former university or whatever directions they'll give so make sure you follow the process so now you've sorted your finances and you have sorted you have your documents ready now uh, there are some other tests that you'll need to do uh, when I was applying to the UNIS, I also wanted to apply to some American universities. So I did my GMAT uh, course, uh, GMAT test. Uh, there are some people who've done sciences and some other uh, courses. I think they need GRE, but for me, I did GMAT and uh, no university that I applied to needed it, even the one in America. So I got admission there, but they didn't need GMAT. The universities in Germany, they also didn't need GMAT, but I I think there's one that I applied to that needed, I can't remember, but uh, uh, check the requirements for whatever course you want to do. So you, uh, you may need to do GMAT and you may need to do GRE. That is depending on whatever you are applying. Now, before you apply, there are two types of universities in Germany. There is the Universities of uh, Applied Sciences, I think it's called Fachhochschule, and there is a uh, normal university. Now, the difference is with the Fachhochschules, uh, I think you cannot do a PhD or something like that. And also they, they focus on specific courses. But for the universities, uh, like where I study, it's just a, a university like normally in Kenya, where you can do your PhD and all that. But people who studied in Fachhochschules, they can also later do PhDs, but they'll need to get some support from, I don't know, university, whatever, whatever. So now we've said the prerequisites. Now you have all that. You've prepared yourself mentally, uh, uh, financially, whatever, early. So now you're ready. The first thing that you do, you go to dad.de and look for the course. Dad, as in David, a, as in Anna, A, Anna, D, David, dad.de, and then you look for the course. So um, first you check the, uh, the course that you want to do, definitely masters, and then you need to specify the language, English, and then you need to specify uh, the, the study. For example, if you want to study mathematics, or you want to study economics, or you want to study whatever, then it will give you a list of universities. Now, remember we said universities are free. That is for public universities. For private universities, you'll have to pay. And there are some states where you need to pay. But for most states, they are free of charge, as we've said. So uh, once you've seen the list of universities, go through their catalogs. They are very detailed. Check, uh, click on each university website, read. Uh, is it what you want to study? Is it in line with what you did? Is it your interest and all that? Once you've done that, uh, choose three to four universities i will say i know we have a faith of a mustard seed but remember the same bible that talks about faith of a mustard seed also talks about casting your seed in many waters see at you now apply to university moja and then you're there waiting if that university denies you what will happen because sometimes they also have limits like if they they decide a class cannot have more than 50 people and you are the 60th what will happen so choose three to four universities now when it comes to universities there are two ways to apply there's what is called uni assist that means you're not applying directly to the university you need to apply to a third party known as uni assist that uni assist is the one that will go through your documents and if they are satisfied then they will forward the documents to the uni then when they forward the documents to the uni you get your uh, uh, reply that uh, direct and then uh, the other way, if you're not applying through UniAssist, is you apply directly to the university. Now, the only thing is uni with UniAssist, you need to pay some fee. I think it's like 75 euros for the first uni and then something like that. Now, the problem is many universities require, okay, it's not a problem, but uh, many, many people find it as a problem. Many universities require uh, you to apply through uni assist you don't apply directly so that means maybe it may be it may be somehow a, a, a limit or a hindrance or whatever you want to call it but uh, no pain without gain 
Uh, later on, I'll do a video maybe on the universities that don't require uni assist, so you don't have to pay that uh, 75 euro fee. So you've got three to four universities. Now, the second step, go to the university's website. Make sure you uh, check all the requirements. Dot all your I's and cross all your T's. Put all your ducks in a row. So uh, make sure you have a checklist and that you have met everything. Now, remember, you have to be thorough. If you miss even one document, that's almost certain that you're going to either miss that uh, admission or it will take, it will delay. So if you have all the documents, then check. Uh, the third step, how are you going to send your documents? Is the application online? Or do you need to send via post? If it is online, then scan everything in PDF and send to uh, the link that you're given. Each website, each university website has a link on, uh, and the instructions on what you're supposed to do. If it needs a physical uh, delivery, then you need to definitely post that. Now, remember you're in Kenya, most likely, or wherever, whatever country you are in. If you're in Germany, then that's pretty fast. Maybe within one day or two days, the university will have your documents. But if you're outside, you need to factor in and cater for time. Remember, all these things as you're preparing and all that, you do it a few months before the semester that you want to, to, to start studying. This is why I said you can't just wake up and say, hmm, Two weeks i'm applying it will not work you will get stranded so after you have uh, done that also pay attention to the deadlines if you're going to summer if you want to apply to summer semester there's a deadline they'll tell you maybe they'll tell you you have to apply by august the previous year and things like that and also other than deadlines remember if you're in kenya you need to book an appointment with deutsche botschaft the german embassy so uh, also, when you're uh, checking dad for the universities, remember, we only have two semesters here. We have winter and we have summer semester. There are some courses, there are some universities that only do intakes in winter semester. There are those that only do in summer semester. But I think most universities uh, have intake both winter and summer semester. So always take care of the deadline. And I think they, they usually put in bold. The deadline for application is... X, Y, Z. And if you're sending, for example, by post, it doesn't mean that if deadline is, is 18th February, 18th February in your Kwapo, poster, naka stamp kako, naka stiku, naka tuma. If you send it on 18th February, it means it will take maybe two, three, four weeks to arrive. The deadline will have passed. So you need to factor in that. Then uh, after that, the fourth step is to wait. Ungoje. Uh, Factor in that uh, uh, there are some processes that need to, to be taken. They need to they receive documents from the whole world, and you are not the only potato in the gallery. They are receiving applications from thousands of students, so it's going to take time. So after that, when you are waiting, now back to the point of speaking German. You know you are coming to Germany in the apotheke. It will be in German. Bus, it will be in German. Zug, it will be in German. You have an appointment with the Auslander Amt, it will be in German. So if you have time, I will say, and you don't have any, any German knowledge, for me, I will say just Ingia Pogote, Ingia Anza na Eins, Hallo, wie geht's? Ich heise, my name, ich komme aus, ich esse gern, meine Hobbies, uh, 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 ich möchte gern, kannst du mir bitte helfen? Und do A1, at least it will make your life easier. Utaingia hapa, uanze kuona ankunft, uanze kuona nini nini glycephia, and you have no idea what, what, what that is. So, I will say the next step, which is point five, as you are waiting, don't just wait up or come adiwe. Please, learn German. If you cannot make it to go to uh, class, maybe go to institute, let's say because of uh, studies or you are working or whatever, go online. For me, for our eyes, I, I, I didn't have time to study because I was working and I was studying. I did my eyes. I went online, got a website that has everything. And then I got some uh, DVDs and I learned. 
and I went and I did the proof form and I passed even more than some people who were in class because maybe they didn't know why they are in class. If you cannot, uh, if you uh, maybe to complement with the website, you can also look for apps. There are apps, there is Duolingo, there's all that. See, Kila Sabu Chata Candy Crush, my friend, thing is, it's 2020. Tunafanya vitu differently. After you have waited, you have fasted, you have prayed, you have worn sackcloth, umejigaragaya kwa matope, and God has answered. You have received, you have received your admission letter. So the next step, you receive your admission letter. Now they can come in two forms. You can get it either by email, or you can get in post, or you can get both. So uh, when I was applying for uh, the uni in America, I got both email and post but for german i think this one i got uh email and i didn't even have to wait for the post or it came and i never saw whatever but whatever i got in the email i printed and that's what i used at the german embassy so after you have prayed and thanked god and thanked amadioha and thanked allah and thanked your ancestors or thanked yourself or whatever then and you have your finances in order as soon as you get you get your letter even before you uh, 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 tell your grandmother that you have admission, please go online, go to the German web, uh, uh, website, embassy website, book an appointment. Those appointments, one day you're looking, you see five appointments. You close your eyes, you blink, there is no appointment. Mm. People who've been to the embassy, you know. Book as soon as you get your admission letter. Please book your appointment. Book it as soon as possible. And if you have your finances, and you, even if it's next week, just book it. You will thank me later. Remember, when you book an appointment, it takes time. And then when you go to the embassy, it takes time. And as you take it, as that time is being taken by whoever, remember your deadline for uh, uh, reporting to the uni is approaching. Most all universities have a deadline. So let's say they say by. 15th of February, you have to be in there. If you're not in the uni by 15th of February, that semester is gone. I don't know if the universities can accept you to uh, come the next semester. I think they can, but if not, then your semester is end up. And I don't think the embassy can give you a visa once the time is passed. So pay attention to time. So the seventh step, you have booked the appointment. The eighth step, you go to the embassy. Make sure you carry all your documents, please. Do not forget anything. When you go to the embassy, uh, the, the embassy website has a list of all the documents that is needed. What I did is the way that they have listed their requirements. I arranged my documents and copies in that way. So the lady who was interviewing me checks fast, like I was done super fast. But CRT, uh, uh, where is your birth certificate? Where is your... Mm, let's be organized, please. Trendy, trendy. We are doing things uh, in another way. So maybe later I'll do a, a, an inter a video on how to prepare for the interview and all that. Yeah. So after that, point number eight, you have gone to the embassy and then you have got your visa. Yeah. Point number nine, book your uh, flight ticket. Do not just go and, and book the one that you get immediately. Prices change. Kini kama ukona bati, mbae it may even get more expensive. But uh, the next step, book your flight. And um, there are some things that you need to prepare. After you've booked, make sure you, you, you uh, prepare yourself like you need shopping. There are some things that maybe you cannot find here that you, you'll have to carry from home. Kuna watu wanabebanga tu vitu like just carry whatever it is. If you have things that are of sentimental value to you, carry it. Like labda your grandma alikuwa chia kajino ama your, 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 your brother gave you a, a necklace or something like that. Carry all those things. Now, if you're coming in summer, if nunua booty shots za kutosha. If you're coming in winter, if utaingia class kama umeva duve. In short, prepare yourself. Uh, jackets and things like that it gets cold here i know in kenya the temperature what we call what we call cold in kenya 
prepare yourself. The last step, report to the university. Now, there's a deadline for everything. There's a day when you have to go to the university and indicate that you have reported. Yes, you've received admission and you've received the visa, but you need to report and all that. Mostly the university will send you the instructions and the steps to follow. And that is it. Mimimi wenyu. Mimimi wenyu. For those that are, 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 are my friends, you know yourselves. You've been waiting, you've been waiting and you're thinking, this fish. Today I've just done my last video, uh, last exam, so at least I'm free and I thought, okay, let me just make a video and all that. So I'll be making, later on since I have some time, I'll be making some videos. So uh, I, can, I, I think I'll start with a video of which universities to apply to. Like you do not know who you uh, I've given you the link, for, I've, I've told you uh, to go to DAD, but still I'll give you specific universities. Like if you want to do maybe economics, you can try Kiel University, University of Paderborn, Hochschule uh, Kleve, Rheinwald, Hochschule Kleve, things like that. I'll just tell you all that, Visma Universität and all that. Then I'll also, maybe I'll, I'll do a video on some universities that don't require uni assist. But I'll tell you this, if you're only looking for unis that don't require uni assist, then you're going to limit yourself because as I said, most universities require it. And then the third video I'll do maybe interview preparation. You're going there early morning, uh, German embassy, what you need to do. The documents of course are listed there but uh, maybe we can talk about that. And then lastly, we'll talk about what you need to know before you come to Germany. All in all, I wish everyone the best. So if you're interested in those videos, you can like and comment and tell me what you, what you want. And so, yeah, all the best.